welcome, as usual, to the Geek Club. And uh, what better way, after a day of studying hard at physics and related subjects, than to chill by opening a brand new choo-choo. Yes, a choo-choo. Actually, this is my first ever train set. I uh, don't know how long I'll be using it, but a Fluffy bought me this little train set to set up. It's going to be a little bit too big for up here. I haven't got enough floor space, so we are going to have to go down and use the kitchen and tease the animals to uh, play with this one. Uh, it's, uh, it's based on Caterpillar stuff and it's got uh, the engine, it's got JCB's diggers, trucks such come off and all sorts of lovely gubbins to play with and be a big kid about. So, first thing we're going to do, we've got exclusive use of the Levy Lab to go and unpack it and have a look at it before we set it up in the land of animals in the kitchen and uh, see if we can wind up some animals for our entertainment. So, let's go downstairs and take this thing apart. Right, here we are in the Livy Lab and this uh, kit is so big I've had to uh, raise the camera right up. Uh, I think the camera's suffering from altitude sickness. But let's have a quick look around the box. Well, what have we got? We've got Motorised Construction Express Train, over 14 feet of track, two cat construction machines, crane car, hopper car with two boulders, battery operated, requiring three sea cells, which required a visit to Poundland. Uh, these things at the sound recording were half price and Tesco's, so if you go to Tesco's, bit of a bargain. Yay. So, create multiple uh, layouts. Uh, 41 inch, 104 centimetres by 157 centimetres, so it's a metre and a half by a metre, so it's not bad, not bad at all. And you can see the, the lovely trucks here, is the engine, uh, it's slightly different than on display, so it's silver. Uh, Caterpillar truck, uh, digger, the rear truck, uh, the boulder thing, and the crane which moves around, lifts and drops and stuff. I'll quickly on the back. The feel of real. Yes. Uh. Oh dear, that's disgusting. Right, 0 to 3 sad onions. Designed in the USA, made in Shenzhen, China. Uh, talking about the batteries. Uh, there's nothing really too interesting to look at. And on the back, it just shows you it's set up. Uh, on the train track, it doesn't show how big that is. But it's going to be big ish. Okay, so let's uh, let's crack her open and find out what we've got inside. I'm just doing this off camera for a moment because it's big, as you know. And uh, okay, salad tape. No, not salad tape, the enemy of mankind. Uh, I didn't bring any scissors. Sugar. <laughs> One. <clears throat> have to do this the rough way. Right, okay. <clears throat> Slide this out. Hopefully you can see what I can see. There we go. Oh, losing some foam there. And there is the set exposed. Okay, so let's uh, let's change camera angle, and you can, you can see the tracks here. <coughs> There's a track, same on the other side, and let's change camera angle. I think it's for the best, and uh, we'll look at each of these elements individually. Be right back. All right, hello, welcome back, and. Uh, Let's start at the front of the train and review each of these elements individually. Here is the train engine and it's, I'll just change the camera angle for you there. It's a bloody good size, isn't it? We're not talking mega expensive things, so there's no metal here, it's all, it's all plastic. As you'd expect, this doesn't cost a fortune. But, it doesn't weigh much. But it looks good, and it has these little trolleys that uh, move as, you, as it goes around the track. 
It's got quite good detailing here, too. I quite like it. And look around the other side. Bits of foam still stuck to it. Caterpillar Construction Express. So this is uh, basically what it's about. It's about building railways and stuff and sidings. So that's the main engine. The batteries go in there. Three C cells. Have to unscrew it and put them in there. So I'll do that in a bit. That's the main engine. Next. <coughs> do, 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 do. Okay, we have this thing, which has these two things on top. At the moment, they're tied in, so I'm not going to remove that for the moment. And we have articulation on the front one. Goes up and down slightly, and this one rotates there. So you can remove these and use them as separate toys. The dumper truck, I imagine, yes, goes up and down. Has wheels, as usual. And obviously the trolley itself with the rotating things. And it looks like a simple system for connecting them together. This just drops into the hole with the one in front. So there we go. Nothing could be simpler apart from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, good skeleton, quite large. Okay, working back down. The, 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 the train set. We come to the crane. Uh, this uh, arm goes up, rotates, and do, do, do. you can pick things up like that. I'll pretend you're in a construction site. Yes. There we go. And uh, there's a good look at it. Again, lightweight. There's no metal in this room. It's all, it's all plastic. It seems decent enough quality and a decent amount of detail. It's designed at kiddies, so uh, designed to be tough and take a beating. Next up in the collection, we have this thing, which is the I forgot what we call these, but it comes with whoop, two big boulders which you can drop off the side. Whatever floats your boat while you're constructing stuff. So, there we go, I'm going to look around it. And um, would you like to look at my balls? They do look like bald testicles. I'd be worried if my testicles were that colour, but yes, they do look like testicles. If you're young, don't ask. Okay, and um, leaving on the back, of the choo-choo train <coughs> is this thing which is the uh, office workhouse and canteen stuff and um, it's quite a attractive design there so little door at the back you see non operation and it goes down and there we go I do like the size of this it's really uh, it's really quite chunky which I suppose is what Caterpillar are aiming at with this. Right, so next job. In fact, before we do, I shall just have a quick try of the engine with its batteries in, and we'll be right back. Right, here it is. Powered up. I'm just gonna quickly switch it on. It does run, driven by its back wheel. Just had it going down the hallway, but uh, you shall have to. Oops. You shall have to wait and see until it's built and then we can power it up. So I'm going to go and build this uh, in the kitchen. I think a bit of time lapse is in order. So enjoy watching me screwing this up. <laughs> Be right back. What? Hello. Here we are in the geek kitchen. You can see there's dog toys all over the place due to a German shepherd being over there. I'm sure she'll enjoy this. And uh, yes, I'm going to set this up. No clue how, because there's no plans given, but use a bit of logic and fail at it. Okay, let's uh, go to time lapse, and you can laugh at me messing this up. Yeah. <laughs> Keep 
Okay. Get a leak okay. It looks like you didn't have more in here. Uh, you can see it's set up there. And uh Shall we have it's an oboe flight? I'll have to bring Fluffy in for it's an oboe flight. Hang on. Yeah. Now Fluffy was hiding behind the door because she's naked. I am not naked. She's I'm just mostly not naked. Not dressed. Okay. So, here's the oboe flight. Get out of the way, dog. Thank you. And, uh, hmm. and then, what I think we might do if this works is strap the camera onto this and get it to go around. <laughs> that would be quite funny. So let's have a look at this cat's watching and dog watching and see what their reaction is to this. Oh yes, dog is interested. <laughs> you can obviously do different uh, layouts. Let me grab the camera and you can watch a little bit more. Oh, let's get it down there. Yeah. That's right, that's it. Well, we'll get many subscribers if we do. And there's a dog attacking it. Dog's not sure. Powered by Poland. Yeah, just get the battery to die any minute. Yep. I think I can actually hear them going down. But yeah, it's quite big and uh, quite slow. Well, let's turn your kids for a few minutes. Let's see if we can strap the camera to it, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was going to try and knock it off then with a the toy. Oh, that's a <laughs> no. yeah, so what she does as it goes around one last time. Sure. Well, right, okay, okay. let's see if we can strap it to it. Okay, uh, the uh, camera is on the uh, second carriage and hopefully it will stay on there. And uh, there's a cat now getting interested, so you'll probably see the cat as you go around and the dog and everything staring at it, so maybe some chance for slow motion here. So let's uh, switch around and enjoy your ride. <laughs> Oh, that didn't quite work. Hang on, I'll have to reset because uh, some of the carriages fell off. Hang on. All right, just centering it and attempt number two. Here goes. There's your riding the train. Choo -choo. Woo -hoo. Oh, it didn't last long. Vibrations. Nope, that didn't last long. Hang on, we'll try again. I have to bodge it to it. Okay, just straightening up. Okay, attempt number three. I've now got, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, a very gentle tape that you use for decorating. I've got some of that attached to it. And we'll try again. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> Enjoy your voice. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog attacking the train. You'll be attacked by a doggy. Oh, train doggy! Train doggy! Train doggy attack! There's a doggy! He's running off, Oh, train doggy! so there you go, that is the uh, color instruction train attack. 
I hope you've enjoyed your ride. Ah, we have a crash! We have a crash! <sighs> Anyhow, yes. So, that's a good little train set. And that's a whiny German Shepherd. So, there you go. That's the train set, and that's the crash. Just caused by the camera chopper and all that. But, thank you very much. What do you reckon, Amy? Not much. Okay, thank you very much. Wants to play. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.